Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Uh, before the video actually starts, I just want to say thank you for 800 subscribers. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a really long time, and I filmed this back in January, so woohoo. Um, I've just been procrastinating editing it, so yeah, uh, enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my sketchbook tour. Um, the sketchbook lasted me from July 2017 to January 2018, and if you are curious on what type of sketchbook it is, then just wait until the end, and I'll tell you. Um, so let's dive right in. Okay, so the first page of the sketchbook is, um, kind of disgusting, actually. I don't really like it. Um, it's not a good first impression to my sketchbook, but I decided that I would draw myself at the beginning of the sketchbook, how I drew myself compared to the end, um, yeah, and I'll get to that when I get there, and I started this on July 12th, 2017, and on July 14th, 2017, I got my wisdom teeth out, and I was still able to draw this, which I was proud of, because I was, like, drugged. This is the time skip meme, and it was, like, uh, what I looked like at, like, certain stages of my life so far, and... So I have 6 to 8, 9 to 11, 12 to 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Because I don't really, I don't know, I was, I'm very different in my teens than I was when I was little, I guess. Whenever I have, in the beginning of the sketchbook, whenever I had like these big blue things right here, it was like an important part in my life, I guess. Um, or something I wanted to remember. So on 7-19-2017, I had a date in the park with my boyfriend. Um, September 27, uh, 22nd, 2017. My first day of work. Uh, I hated that job. That job was awful. Uh, yeah, it was just awful. And I drew my uniform, me, my, me and my uniform, which turned out pretty cute, to be honest. I still like that drawing. This was in Arizona. I drew these all in Arizona. This was a girl I saw at work. So I just drew it in pen and on the plane. It was my dress, I, overall dress thing I was wearing that day. And my hair was getting long. Yeah, I don't know. Just cute stuff. Uh, 8 17 17 first day of senior year and then I think I drew these all my first and second days here's another thing for the bean team it, the prompt was your happy place and so I drew the woods with my boyfriend which is just I always love hanging out in nature with him um, and so I just drew a picture I took of him and this is the Copic airbrush system um, this page took me like a month to finish Oh, I forgot to do that. It took me like a month to finish because I didn't draw anything except for this for all of October. And this was for Inktober for the bean team. And the theme was witches, so I just drew a, like a modern hip witch. And then I started Huvember. Um, so here they are. <laughs> uh, I did it differently than I usually do. Um, I usually just colored with my markers, but this time I wanted to take up paper in the sketchbook, but I also wanted to preserve it because I really like the paper in here. Um, so I just did back uh, spreads. This drawing was when I was reading, uh, what's it called? Turtles all the way down. I was going to say an abundance of turtles, which, yeah, which by John Green, the main character has like OCD and she's really freaky and... In terms of like mental health and so like I feel like that's how I feel when I feel like her I don't know that's just the vibe I get from her this one is just me and like this is my Instagram profile picture right now and then a quote from turtles all the way down this is my most like Instagram post I think it has like 104 likes which is a lot for me also this was good before I totally smudged it so um, this was also what I looked like on Thanksgiving I was pretty cute this got a lot of likes as well. Um, I really like this spread uh, here. Um, I, I really like. I was obsessed with this song, so it's called Obsession, and that's a lyric from it. So um, it's by OK Go, by the way. So yeah, and then it's my boyfriend. It was my boyfriend and I's three and a half year anniversary. So I do that just like I did last year for our two and a half year anniversary. And then I really like how this is just like neon green, lime green, I guess. And then this is just like back to normal. My art teacher got um, Copic markers for class, and I just swatched them and did them on this, and back to planning and doodling, and yep. 
back to planning. Uh, I have this really cute aesthetic sketch, uh, not sketch, drawing, like, proud of myself I didn't use a reference. Um, this one is okay. I tried doing another cute sketch like the other one um, here, but I like how I colored it and it's good coloring, but I wish I was a little bit more creative. I wanted to make her like sucking on a lollipop, and for this one, I wanted to make a girl doing a peace sign, but I, that day I just couldn't draw the, the arm doing the peace sign, so I just gave up and I just lined it with this pen. Uh, here is a totally colorful planning planning spread. Um, it's for a scholarship. Um, so yeah, this is this is it. It's a Google scholarship. Um, and then this is from Gungeon. Um, my boyfriend really likes this game, and he really likes this character because of her little Korg. And this is the hunter from Gungeon. And if you start Korg, uh, she was growling. Um, but he really likes this character, and so I drew her for him, and she was really fun to draw. I haven't drawn eyes like that before, and I really like how they turned out. Um, so I might start drawing eyes like that in the future, and I just, I like this a lot. This, I think this looks really good. And here is the last page. Uh, the last page is kind of empty. Um, I should put the date here. Today's date is 1 19 <laughs> If I wrote 17, okay, that kind of fills up the space. So, I wrote my reflection about the sketchbook, which says the sketchbook is very good quality and with some downsides, like the pencil smudging and the pencil is hard to erase, and I think some other things too, but it's mostly with the pencil. And I wrote, oh mal, this is how I hear it in my head. Aside from that, the sketchbook has been through a lot of neglect, but I'm very glad it was always there for me when I needed it most. Fiona? filming a video. <laughs> anyway, and then I tried to practice some eyes. I didn't know what to do here, so I just drew these, which turned out really cool. Like, it's with this, like, not this one, but with this, uh, tri-color, like, retipped marker. I'm gonna do a video on these one day. I don't know, I've had it planned for, like, ever since I got them. Um, so yeah, just swoosh, 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 and yeah. Then there's the drawing of me I did at the end of the sketchbook. I haven't colored it in. I don't know if I'm going to. I just don't feel like it. And then the cute girl I wanted to do with the peace sign, but like over here on this page. I don't know if I'm going to color her in either. I mean, she should be colored in, but she also has this on her head because I, I was watercoloring this and it touched the ink and it like bled everywhere. So yeah, I don't know. But I like how her hand turned out and her face. But yeah, so that's all the content in the sketchbook. Now for the sketchbook itself, this is a Strathmore visual journal. It is mixed media paper, and yeah, it is 34 pages, 64 pages front and back. I mean, 34 pages, 68 pages front and back. Um, it is 5.5 by 8 inches, so it's pretty small, and it is 90 pound paper, and that's it. I really like the sketchbook. I like the texture of it, but... I'm going to be honest, if I would recommend this one or Canson, I would recommend Canson because this does not really handle pencil very well, even though it says mixed media, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.